can be a very tough place. I mean, like, this is the meals they eat in prison. It doesn't look very appetizing, right? Well, if you got some sort of revenue coming to you in prison, you can buy commissary items. And those commissary items are like these items. You got Cheetos, you got Chips Ahoy, tortillas, popcorn, and the list goes on. People in prison are very creative when it comes to their commissary meals. They turn normal items like this into items like this. Yes, is that a burrito? I have a buddy who recently got out of prison not too long ago. I'm not gonna name his name for security reasons, but if you wanna know who he is, he'll be on the Share Your Scare podcast next week, so make sure you check that out. He told us a couple recipes that got him through his prison sentence, and that was the prison burrito and the prison cheesecake. What? It sounds absolutely insane. Like, who wants a prison burrito? Uh, me, I guess. I guess we're gonna find out. The ingredients you're gonna need for a prison burrito are sriracha, chili ramen, takis, tapatio, jalapeno seasoning, cheese from a can, goldfish, popcorn, and Cheetos, and obviously, something to hold it all together, some tortillas. The first thing you need to do when you're preparing your prison burrito is you need to open up your ramen and put some hot water in there. We're gonna literally act this out as if we were in prison, so we can't just boil water. All they got is some hot tap water, and we're gonna have to make that do. Break up your ramen noodles. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use part of this to seal our ramen, okay? And this is actually what they do in prison, okay? We're gonna use this to seal our ramen while it cooks. They use everything they can in prison. Look at that. Stay shut, it's cooking the ramen. Push your ramen out to the side. We want it to soak in the water. The next thing we gotta do is prepare our popcorn. Usually in prison, popcorn is gonna come like this, but we couldn't find jalapeno flavored popcorn that was already cooked, so we're just gonna wing it here. But usually in prison, you can buy jalapeno flavored popcorn. Crazy, right? They got more varieties than Walmart. <laughs> now that you got your flavorless popcorn, here is our jalapeno seasoning. Pour it in there, mix it up a little bit. We're gonna cook everything in this clear Ziploc baggie so we can see exactly what is gonna be going into our burrito before it's in the burrito. One third of the popcorn is gonna go into the bag. And now we're gonna add in all of our different chips. They don't have measuring cups or anything like that in prison, so they kinda go off of handfuls. A cup equals a handful. So first thing we're gonna grab a cup of is some Cheetos. Now we need a handful of Takis. Lastly, we need a handful of Goldfish. So this is what you should be working with at this point if you are following along and making your own prison dish. Now we need to completely destroy this and turn it into crumbs. Your chip slash popcorn should look something like this. But we're not done yet. What we need to add in is our chili from our ramen. And now the hot sauces are gonna kinda act like your salsa inside of your burrito. And this part you kinda just wing because there is no measuring in prison. You're kinda just going at it. And if you like spicy, put some more. Exactly. And now Jake's favorite as a kid before he turned lactose intolerant. Cheese in a can, how gross. Let's do it. <laughs> Oh, that looks gross. <laughs> no, I want it in my mouth. <laughs> and last but not least, let's check out our ramen that's been sitting for a couple minutes. Hopefully this is all cooked up. I mean, it looks pretty soft. So now we need to empty out all the water. Stab it at the bottom, let all the water pour out. We add our ramen to our concoction. So what you see is our burrito. Let's mix it up. And honestly, if you were to look at this, and really compare it to something you've seen before, it'll honestly pop up images of Chipotle's tofu. Am I right, oh, or what? Yeah. It looks exactly like that. Pull out your tortilla, and for our cheese lovers, we're gonna spread a little bit more on here just because, why not? This could probably make two or three burritos, and when you're in prison, you got a cellmate, you might as well become friends with him so he doesn't kill you. Am I right? Pour out your burrito contents. It honestly kind of looks like a burrito. You know, I never worked at Chipotle, but I, I, I watch them do this a lot, because I go there a lot. Grab this side like this, this side like this. We're gonna pull this side over, and we're gonna hit the roll. Look at that. That's a burrito if I've ever seen one. Oh, right? pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, look at that. 
So now we have done it. We have completed the prison burrito. Looking at this honestly looks pretty good. It looks like some Mexican rice inside of here. It honestly looks like a rice burrito. It kind of looks like a gas station burrito. Yeah, like I feel like you could honestly trick your mind at this point to believe whatever it needs to be. Because if you're looking at this burrito and you know you got 50 years to life left, you're gonna, your mind is gonna make it whatever you want it. So let's taste this. Oof, all right, here we go. Crunch is still there. Why does that taste like a burrito? <laughs> Hold on. Whoa. Like, I almost want to believe this is an actual burrito. And when I'm eating it, I really truly feel like it's a real burrito. Like, this is crazy. It's very cheesy, too. But, like, for some reason, this cheese can is pretty good. You would never sit here and think that this was made out of ramen, some Takis, some goldfish, because it has depth. When you take a bite of it, you taste different things. You taste the cheesiness, you taste the spiciness, and for some reason, anything wrapped in a tortilla just automatically tricks your mind into thinking it's a burrito. This is pretty good. Go for it. Oh, it's so cheesy. Kind of like Tex-Mex, like a good right? thing. Like, <laughs> like it's almost like a like barbe barbecue. Yeah, barbecue like, meets Mexican. It's yeah. Tex-Mex, bro. I think, I think it's like the way that the goldfish are toasted. Yeah. You taste that toasted flavor. Then you taste like the, the Mexican seasoning, like the, I don't even know. It, it's oh good, God, it's right? It's so good. Yeah, I feel like you could definitely make this gourmet. Oh, a gourmet <laughs> prison food? Isn't that just regular food? <laughs> the one thing I will say though, there is absolutely no nutrients in this burrito at all. All of it is just very processed. At this point, you're, you're full. You know, you ate your burrito, now it's dessert time. What do they eat in prison for dessert? The things you're gonna need for the prison cheesecake are Chips Ahoy cookies, Kool-Aid, sugar, honey, creamer, and some cream cheese. Crush up a bunch of Chips Ahoy cookies. This is gonna be the crust of your cheesecake. Let's heat this up for a couple minutes and let it get golden brown. Oh my God, it's on fire! Whoa. Oh my God. Don't open the door. God damn it. a minute this time and now let's really smash this down flatten out your crust and now let's start making our cheesecake frosting we're gonna use about half the cream cheese so for the amount of cheesecake that we're making I would say use like one sugar packet or about a tablespoon worth Throw that on there let's do a couple scoops of kool-aid we want it to be tasty yeah. and then we're gonna throw in about a tablespoon of honey I think this is a little bit bigger than a tablespoon but like I said, we're doing what we can. And our buddy that spent some time in prison said to throw some vanilla creamer in there too, but not a lot. Now, mix it all together. And now is the time to combine our cheese to our cake. You get what I mean? Throw this on top and spread it around. So at this point, you should be working with something that looks like this. It probably doesn't look all that good right now, but let's throw it in the refrigerator for a little bit, let it harden, and let's really let this cake form, and then we'll try it. Four to six hours later, and this is what we are left with. It honestly looks almost exactly the same as when we put it in, except I'm guessing it's gonna hold together a little bit more. So let's take this out and let's try our prison cheesecake. But you gotta keep in mind, it is all just crumbs. It's just cookie crumbs, so. Yeah, that means we smashed it pretty hard. I actually can't get it out of here. Yeah, they probably like just make it and then something. eat it. So that's what we're gonna do. So yeah, the, the crust part is holding on, but barely, because look, I can lift this whole thing up and then that's all just crumbs underneath. So it's not gonna be like the best thing to hold together, but hey, it is cookie crumbs. Let's try this thing. What the hell is that? I'm hungry. <laughs> okay. Cheesy? No. It tastes like Kool-Aid. You really taste the cookies, obviously. It tastes like normal Chips Ahoy cookies. But then you get this layer of thickness. And this layer of thickness just kind of reminds me of cake topping. It literally just reminds me of frosting. That's it. And with a hard sense of Kool-Aid. It's like a thick Kool-Aid. It's like drinking thick Kool-Aid. You kind of don't taste any cheesecake flavoring or anything like that. It just has that creamy texture that you're like, oh, okay, I guess it's 
cheesecake, but it's good. I'll finish it. Honestly, you know what? You could probably make this so much stronger in flavor had you done maybe four or five scoops of Kool-Aid. We kept it minimal. We did two and a half, but we could make that so much more sugar. Yeah, and mind you, we put sugar and honey in there too, so you could double that. You could double everything. Sweeter. We were just winging it. You know what I mean? But you could yeah. really go crazy with this. Yeah. All in all, the prison food wasn't bad. Like, think about it. If you're stuck in prison and someone makes you one of those, that's probably a really good treat comparatively to the food that you would get at prison. Anyways, guys, that wraps up this video. If you enjoyed it, smash the thumbs up, hit the subscribe, and let me know in the comments, do you want more prison food tutorials? Should I try more prison food? Let me know because the list goes on and on. Pick up the merch, BrandonTaylor.com. If you're anti-social like me, then this merch is perfect for you. I love you guys so much. I'll see you next time. Peace.